Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks for visiting the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access your heatsink, fan, and CPU assembly in a Dell Latitude E7470 laptop. This way you can replace these components or you can reapply thermal paste or, or clean out your fans, whatever you need to do. I'll show you how to access these components. So first thing guys, shut your computer down, make sure it's powered off correctly. Uh, make sure it's unplugged from the charger. We're going to flip it over to access your screws. You have three screws here on the left, three screws here on the right, and these two screws in the middle. Once those screws are removed, you'll be able to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool and go around the seam of your computer and slowly pry up that bottom case. I say plastic because metal scratches the cases too easily. Um, I usually like using a large guitar pick. Um, to go around and use as a, as a pry tool here. So once you get that bottom case up, guys, this is what you're looking at, most of you, for the inside of your computer. As a side note, guys, my computer, whenever I operate on it, is sitting on an anti-static pad. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to limit the chances of damaging anything in your computer. If you need help with any tools or supplies, there'll be a link above, also below in the description to my Amazon store. It'll give you some suggestions on things that I use in my shop. So once you're inside, guys, you're gonna see something that looks like this. Um, some of you will have a smaller battery like this. Others will have a larger upgraded battery, but either way, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, before I touch anything, the first thing I do in a computer is unplug the battery or remove it. So to unplug it, this is your battery plug right here above the right corner of the battery. There's a black pull tab. You just pull that directly up out of the laptop and that will unplug it. If you want to remove the battery entirely, there's your screw right there in the top right corner and the battery will be removed. So after you get done that, guys, this is your fan here, top right. This is the heatsink assembly over the CPU right here. And this is your vent right there. So if you're here to clean it out, at this point, you can blow out that vent, blow out that fan, vacuum it out, whatever you need to do. There's a screw here, another screw here, and the fan plugs into the motherboard right here. So when unplugging that, guys, be careful. Don't pull on the wire. Sometimes you can pull the wires right out of the plug. So instead of pulling on the wires, pull on the plug and take it out of that port right there. After that, you can take out your heatsink assembly here. You have four screws above the heatsink assembly and underneath it will be your CPU. Now the CPU is not removable on this motherboard. It's integrated into it, so you can't easily upgrade it or remove it. And remember when you're cleaning off or when you're reapplying thermal paste, if that's why you're here, you need to clean off all the former thermal paste before reapplying new stuff or it's not gonna work like you want it to. If you need help with how to reapply thermal paste, there'll be a video link above. Also, I'll have it below in the description showing you exactly how to do that, how to clean off the old stuff and how to reapply the right amount of new thermal paste. So that's how you access these components in this computer. Okay guys, so that's the video. I hope it was helpful in getting into your computer and finding the component you were looking for. Uh, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. I do try to keep those updated over time. If you do need to leave me a question, feel free. I try to answer those at least a couple times a day. Please remember to like and share if this video was helpful, if you think it could help someone else, and feel free to subscribe if you enjoy little quick tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.